Hello, it's nice to have you folks back here to Murphy's Welcome to My World. This is episode number 11. I'm going to be showing you how to make the centerline cleaning car look a little bit more like, well, a real car. So what I did is I started out finding a real car, a caboose that I wanted to use, and I got a similar color of paint and I painted the centerline uh, body. Then I figured out exactly how it might fit in there. You know, this is kind of a big question because the centerline car is quite a bit bigger, wider, I should say, than the car body. So I had to take and cut out the car body. Of course, you want to make it nice and square. And I realized that I had to make the car body a little bit wider because it just wasn't going to fit. So I put in a little spacer, got a little heat. Yeah. Plastic will bend if you want it to, and I wanted it to stay in place, of course. And as you can see here, it's a little bit bowed out by the time that I was finished. Next, I had to make some minor adjustments to the car to get this uh, centerline body to fit inside. A few things had to be removed. And then the question was, well, am I going to be able to make it fit in with the rest of the train so it looks right? So I had to mess around, put a little bit of a spacer in there. When I'm gluing dissimilar items together, like the metal of the car and the plastic of the body, I like to use CA or super glue. It seems to hold things together fairly well. And of course, use the least amount of glue that you can get away with. That's always the best. Now, this deal. is a really important step if you want your trains to stay together as they're running around the track. This gadget on the right checks the height of the couplers. All the couplers have to be at exactly the same height to keep the train together. In the centerline car, the way it works, it has this roller in it and it goes around and around and keeps the track clean. You can see it was kind of dirty. Well, what do you think? Okay, okay. It doesn't look like the original car. It's not as nice as an original car, but it's a whole lot better than that ugly frame thing. As I mentioned earlier, I almost always have a cleaning car or two in the consist that I'm running around. The cleaner you keep your track, the better your trains are going to run, plain and simple, especially if you have DCC. So if you want to have a, a clean track and a relatively good looking car, you might think about doing something like I did. Build it into one of the car bodies that you happen to have on hand. I wouldn't use one of your expensive cars, but yeah, we all have those cheap ones laying around someplace or other. So thanks for joining me here at Murphy's Welcome to My World, episode number 11. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Also hope you have a lot of fun with your trains. Come back and see me again sometime. Bye now.